my channel you got me in stitches I'm Anna I hope you have had a really good start to the week so I am coming in at you today as I had sat on Sunday with a small little yes it is small ish fabric haul and the shenanigans at Gold Hawk Road which is in London so I let's start off with the fabrics on the day of Gold Hawk Road a friend of mine, myself, a sewing pink lady, and teenage athlete. So my friend very kindly took us to Gold Hawk Road. So my friend and teenage athlete went off and spent the day together whilst sewing peep and I met up with all the other sewists and fabric fanatics. <laughs> and yes, there was one guy there as well. And yeah, just so we could have a day of fabric looking, stroking, talking and all the shenanigans that <laughs> surrounds fabric I guess. So we met up here in the cafe first of all just so everybody could actually meet without having to kind of meet and then if there was a few people then a little bit later you know there's nothing worse than kind of catching up when you've sort of met in a destination but then you've moved on from that so yeah so that was really good and there's quite a few people there this time and there was a few ladies that I have never met and uh, yeah we all got on really really well had lots of giggles and uh, fabric conversations and everything else like that and um, before we even set foot outside the cafe Alex who you guys if you watch her channel is Gingerhead and Co she gave me a really really wonderful gift and guess what it is guys you never guess you will never guess is it concrete is it a car is it music is it fragrance no don't be silly of course it's fabric <laughs> so three beautiful fabrics here i haven't taken the ribbon off yet so this one here 100 percent cardan the little teacups there, the middle one, they're little birdies, and flowers. Is it flowers? Yeah, flowers. That's it there. I really, really love the pattern and the colour. So thank you again, Alex, and a little card. What you put on there on the back? So that was so thoughtful and kind of you Alex, thank you again. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> I had fabric before I'd even started in the fabric store. So yes, okay now I haven't, I've got the fabrics and everything like that and apologies guys, I won't be able to say which store they actually came from. I did sort of start off filming kind of doing that and then you kind of get caught up in the conversations and the thought processes of you know ideas of fabrics what you would like to purchase and, and things like that so yeah so I'm so sorry guys not really much point asking me in the comments oh where, which store did I get that from so yeah but I'll be going again anyway so but I mean for those of you that are familiar you kind of know how Gold Hawk Road is laid out and I'm sure even if you don't know, I guess the inner hat might be able to help that and or if you know of friends, family that have been there or you know through someone else, through someone else and so on. These fabrics are not shown in any order as to you know the first fabric that I purchased from the first store. This is just how I have them next to me. 
this I think I got almost at the end to be fair now you guys have already seen this fabric in my make nine and this is this mustard denim that I was after I'll just show you guys again quickly for those that have not seen this fabric in that video and it's kind of it's relatively structured as denim is anyway but it, it's a midweight that's the inside and I am going to make the McCall's pad in there M7470 and if you see there yeah so I won't go on again about that because I have covered that in my make 9 Righto, this is a little remnant and another sewing lady and I kind of wanted it was a little bit sort of higgledy mix up with kind of the prices and everything of the fabrics and obviously different lengths but um, for the most part it was kind of about five and it, we kind of had this huge huge bin of like fabric and yeah so another lady and I this was 250 and hers was 250 so we split it like that and there's this one here I believe this is a cardan but it's it is quite thin I don't know if you can see me. I can see the camera through that but then bear in mind I do have the window behind me but I think that that's I think that's a really really lovely color and I like that blue and I would say there is a good yard there I haven't measured that so that's approximate righto next fabric this beautiful drapey fabric here and it has these really lovely floral floral designs on and it's just the colours oh I just noticed actually on the back now I have opened it out where's it gone oh no look that's ick muck. Oh no. So, trouble with some, there's another little bit there. Sometimes, there, look. See there? I think sometimes when they have them on the rolls and everything, and obviously on the floor, and you know, if they're kind of flapping open, if people, I don't know, maybe have muddy boots or something, or, you know, sometimes like things like that happen. I have one yard of this and I was thinking of making a full length skirt, just a regular basic skirt and see how I get on with that, something for the summer and to be fair looking out the window today you wouldn't believe January and the sun is just the blue skies and sun is just absolutely bursting out. Okay next up. 100% cardan beautiful leaves there and flamingos and beautiful blossoms and I think I got one and a half yards two yards because this was nearly at the end of the roll and another lady like the same fabric so we kind of split it so we both had some of the fabric and just open it out for you guys there so that's the reverse and then that's that side and yeah semi structured kind of a light to a midweight on that one and possibly going to be another shirt when I make the, I know I can't pronounce this, sorry guys, Bruet shirt, Bruet shirt, I'm thinking maybe when I've made the one in the mint 100% cardan, if I have completed that all okay, maybe I would make another one in that fabric. Okay, next up, baby cord and mustard colour there. 
air again kind of a mid weight there that's the reverse and I got oh see look I've just noticed on this one look there's like ink stain there oh dear not having much luck am I and maybe a little skirt and I was thinking of kind of just a regular A-line skirt and maybe adding some little details on there, some buttons or maybe playing around with some pleating and or gathers, things like that. Right, I next I got this beautiful blue on glaze fabric. And again, I think I got two yards of this, and I really liked the edging there. So I'm hoping to incorporate that. So, if, for instance, on the sleeves, so that would be a really pretty sleeve edging, and obviously on the bottom along the hem edge, and maybe perhaps a collar. I don't know, I have to play around with that one and see how I get on. And again there, like a little blouse shirt. And this one. This is an African wax print and it has roosters. Little roosters in their chicks. So Laura from the Speaky Seamstress. <laughs> If you are watching, tell me what you think of this. So these guys are adorable and yeah, they're supposed to be five yards here. I haven't actually measured. I believe there is. It just seems not as the same amount as the original Wix fabric print that I got. I don't know, but yeah, I know I'm thinking of perhaps a vintage style dress with this and yeah, see how I got on with that. But again, let me know if you have ideas. And finally, guys, another if you can wix print fabric, and it has these really lovely peacocks. And a little flower there. And I really like the green. And this was a, another fabric to go with 2036 simplicity in one of these vintage style dresses again for those of you guys that have already watched my make nine for this year this has been included in that as well so right on guys that is it of the fabrics i hope you've enjoyed that and I'm going to say thank you so much for watching now and I will leave you with some of the film footage and stills of the shenanigans of what we guys, what we guys, <laughs> what we got up to guys at Goldhawk Road and it's not too much footage stills going on there because I was fully aware how much I had memory left on my memory card so I yeah, anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Have a great week and all being well. I will see you guys on Sunday. Take care guys and thank you so much for watching as always. It is currently Friday, January 18th and we are going fabric looking, touching, stroking and everything like that and if you see steam coming out of my mouth that is purely because it is so frosty this morning and my sewing poop has just turned up actually now I can see her in my peripheral yes so we're going to Goldhawk Road which was organised by Sean from Kinnish Behaviour again so yeah it's going to be a day of doing what women do best in fabric looking stroking talking and everything like that and possibly a few purchases but we will see how 
the day goes. Okay guys, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay everybody, so currently in a cafe on Gold Park Road and there is quite a lot of sewing geeks here that have made a really good turnout and Rachel is down there and there are two other ladies that will join us, Debbie and Joy. It's just so pretty. Oh, I'm deliberating now on all these lovely <laughs> fabrics. Oh, I think somebody's excited. We're all enabling one another. It's fatal. It's absolutely fatal. However, all these fabric stores, if we don't actually find what we're looking for, it will be absolutely shocking. <laughs> Right, we have just come downstairs and it's really dark and gloomy and we've got to make sure that we can get out and there's like all like fairy fabric there and we're deciding whether it's going to come alive or not. This is really, really funny. There's the gentleman over there and he just bought out all these fabrics and then his store friend there, he got a little bit lift out. So he's got all these fabrics out. So everybody's looking. Okay, so a lot later in the arbor, it is 10 after 4 and yeah, it's been a long productive fabric day and we are just taking 5 at the moment and yeah, resting our poor weary feet I think, so I absolutely love this lady's Victorian blouse, it's absolutely stunning. Is everybody there? Sure. Stating the obvious I am, I know I, but yes. Yeah.